This will make your life so much easier. Now you can use the same view model from Android in a common main source set, which means you can build apps for iOS and Android by sharing more code from a single code base. I'm gonna showcase the basic setup of a KMP project with two screens and two view models. We will use an official Compose Navigation solution and the Coin Dependency Injection Library to inject a repository into a view model, but also a view model into a composable function. Pretty common scenario. Let me give you a quick tour before we get into the code. First, dependencies. We are using the official Compose Navigation solution, which is now available for a Kotlin multi-platform as well. It's nice because we, Android developers, are already familiar with the library usage in general. Next, there is a lifecycle view model compose artifact, which is also available in a Kotlin multi-platform environment. Plus, we can use it pretty much the same as in Android. And finally, we have a three coin artifacts. The first one, the core library, the second one for a compose, and the third one that contains additional features to inject the view model in a compose. We can place all those dependencies in the common main source set and uh, we're good to go. Now about the navigation. Here we get the two simple screens. Each one has a button on the center that uh, we're gonna use to navigate between them. From the home screen we can navigate to the details screen and from the details screen we can navigate back. In this uh, sample project we also have a dummy repository and uh, its implementation. We're gonna use it to inject it into a view model. For uh, each screen we get a view model. It doesn't do anything specifically, except uh, printing a, a simple message about uh, when it's being initialized and when it's being destroyed. For demonstration purposes, it contains a repository that we're gonna inject with a coin library. Now comes the fun part. We need to describe how to provide an instance of the repository that we are planning to inject in those uh, two view models but also describe how to provide an instance of uh, those two view models that we're gonna inject into a composable screens. You can create the new package in your project along with the new Kotlin file. Then inside it declare a variable that will hold coin modules. Coin module is uh, nothing more than a construct in the coin dependency injection framework used to define how dependencies are provided. Coin modules are definitions of uh, dependencies and they describe how instances should be created and uh, injected. We're gonna inject the repository as a singleton, which means a, a single instance of this class will be available through a whole life of an application. And for that matter, we can utilize this uh, single function. Then, below that, we can call a viewmodel function from a coin viewmodel library. Be sure to not misplace the import with the one that you're using in a composable function. Nevertheless, here we are initializing those uh, two view models, and as a repository that uh, we need to pass to them, we're just calling get function. That's a, a coin function which will automatically find an appropriate dependency that uh, needs to be injected here, assuming that you have already declared that class here in the first place. Finally, we can open up this uh, home screen and uh, create a new variable that will hold an instance of the view model by using the coin view model function. Great. You can do the same thing for the detail screen as well. Finally, we need to wrap our composable screens within a coin context composable. This function is uh, nothing more than a scope within uh, which coin dependencies can be injected and used. Also, we need to call that uh, initialize coin function inside the main activity class of the Android main source set. Before the set content function, of course. But also, we need to call that uh, same function in the iOS app uh, Swift file under iOS app directory. Here, when calling a Kotlin function from Swift, we need to import the compose app module. Then, within init block, to get the reference of that function for initialization, we first need to type the name of the Kotlin file, followed by the kt. Because uh, that's how our Kotlin functions will be generated for uh, use in Swift. Lastly, let's try running the application on an Android emulator and the iOS simulator to see how it works. As you can see, when you start this application, the start destination will be the home screen. If you open up the logs, you will notice a log that says home view model has been initialized. 
When we navigate to the detail screen, a detail view model will be initialized, and when we click the button to go back, a detail view model will be destroyed. But the home view model will uh, practically stay the same, because we haven't popped off the home screen from the back stack. Now open up the Xcode, launch the iOS uh, simulator, and you will notice uh, pretty much the same behavior. Detail view model is uh, being initialized and destroyed multiple times while navigating, while the home view model stays the same. Awesome. And that's pretty much it. You can already see how a mobile development uh, is becoming uh, easier to work with, all thanks to a Kotlin and Compose uh, multi-platform technology. What do you think about that? Do you prefer KMP over Flutter? Comment down below and let me know. Other than that, don't forget to leave a like, but only if you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching.